today I'm trying to independent bottling both are called Scarabus. The first one we're going to try is the Scarabus 10. And we all, as always, start with the name Scarabus. Scarabus is a place on Isla. And directly translated, <clears throat> it would mean something like a rocky place. And I had a look to find this place online can't go to Isla right now and I couldn't find any place that was directly named Scarabus but I found Scarabus farm and it was yeah inland it was a little bit of northeast of Beaumont and yeah somewhere around there maybe rocky and it should be also a very mystical and secret place the design of the bottle and the um, the tube was by a guy named John Francis Campbell and he did it all under the uh, theme of only those who seek shall find and it's written down here on the uh, bottom of the bottle and it looks really cool yeah the bottle looks really cool with a lot of bits and pieces in there and you might if you have a look at this bottle you might find some secrets uh, in the patterns of these um, thorn or plants or whatever this is yeah you can find a lot of stuff here and um, let's get into a bit more into the stuff that is in there it's a 10 year old it's a Isla single malt scotch whiskey yeah, um, it was matured in a combination for 10 years of uh, freshly filled bourbon casks and uh, freshly freshly filled casks, so virgin oak casks and refill bourbon casks. And that's what we got from the supplier of what is in this bottle. Does it say anything on there? It's Hunter Lang, Scarabos Isla. A little bit about the flavor, 46% ABV, 10 years of age, no coloring and chill filtering. Of course, okay, mm, and it's an Isla whiskey. You already can smell the smoke. So it's uh, peaty, smoky. It's a, a very dampened, old smoke, like a little bit of a smoky, leathery touch to it. Mm. So it's uh, from the smell, it's really a, a rough and not at all fresh kind of whiskey really dampened a little bit of freshness but not in a not in a fruity way but a little bit more like peppermint methyl that kind of freshness like a little bit of a like a taste like an, an old candy with peppermint candy with a lot of smoke and <laughs> Leather, yeah, sounds strange. <laughs> Even, but it, it does smell strange as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that really reminds you of your of that old office from your granddad with the old leather chair and um, smoky dust in there leather everywhere mm. yeah it's um it's not bitter but it has all the the strong tones to it. Um, yeah a little bit of a peppery note going on as well mm. here it said said that you have some sweet syrup in there don't have that i don't really don't have that mm. for me it's all a, a cloud of smoke and leather and 
chair and old mature mm -hmm. but this these these flavors really add up to the to the age it, it tastes a little bit older than it than it is if you would have given me the blind tasting I would probably say 15 years or something like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here in Europe, it's 50 euros. That would have been about, I don't know, 60 dollars or something like that, 57. Mm. And it's good, it's nice. If you like a, a non-sweet, strong, leathery touch to your Isla whiskey. Smoky, definitely, you need to like smoke. So, yeah, it's a nice one, Hunter Lang. Um, did a nice job in selecting this whiskey and bottling it yeah that was it if you'd like to find more about the next scarabus and um, subscribe to the channel and we will have the video up in the next coming days thanks for watching and see you next time